What's up, guys? I'm EJ, and this is Shamari here. We just got out of the Dawn of X panel here at New York Comic Con. We've been following this Power, Powers of Ten, House of X books that have been coming out from uh, Jonathan Hickman. So, obviously, everyone's really excited about these coming weeks where we have the Dawn of X, which are all these new X-Men books after this new established uh, status quo of the mutants has been, uh, has been yes. put into place in these, uh, in these recent books done by Jonathan Hickman. Shamari, this was a really great panel. I think a lot of X-Men fans will be excited because there's new energy and new focus on the mutants of the Marvel Universe when it comes to comics. That's an exciting thing for a lot of people. It is extremely exciting. It sounds like they describe this as like the first wave mm -hmm. of uh, new X-Men books um, coming after the uh, House of X, Dawn of, or, or House of X, Powers of Ten uh, uh, comics that were coming out. Yeah. And they, see, they seem to be... There's clearly a lot of thought going into this. For sure. And it seems like Hickman is going to be involved, very much involved, um, all around the board. So I'm extremely excited. I love the descriptions that were given from the writers, um, uh, especially um, uh, Benjamin Percy. Yeah. Uh, especially his description of, I believe, was it was it X Force? He's doing X Force. He's doing X Force, man. X Force. I can't wait to read that. I cannot wait to read that when that comes out. That sounds like it's going to be fantastic. And you mentioned Hickman, who wasn't there, but he's kind of the yes. kind of godfather of how the mutant kind of knew he's going to be going moving yes. forward. What I thought was really awesome was they mentioned how Hickman and the whole group are all on the same page. Yes. How many times do you have a comic book where yeah, one person, one guy's they, like, doing similar something. similar characters, some of the same characters sometimes. Yeah. But one guy's doing one thing and one person's doing another thing, and, and then it becomes like yeah. it's the continuity is just a mess and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Here, not only will you have four or five distinct X books but more to come which I'll get to in a second but yes. you'll also have them working symbiotically with each other and we've seen how um, how well that's worked for the Powers of Ten House of X book so that for had to have that you know probably not in as a as a, not probably not in as unison as those books were because Hickman, Hickman was writing all of them mm -hmm. but still to have that same uh, collaboration I think it's gonna be really great yes yes absolutely I agree um, I mean the, the the built the base of the story is so amazing. Yeah. It's fantastic. So I can't anticipate. And these seem like very seasoned, very experienced writers, and they seem to all be on the same page, even on exactly. the panel. Yeah. They seem to all be on the same page with regards to what the future of the of the universe is going to be. Um, they had a senior editor there, yep, uh, Jordan, jo White. Jordan White, um, who uh, knows ex exactly, he seems to know everything that's going on with his first phase, uh, to the point where he's even he even seems to have an idea of what's going on in the second phase as well. Yeah. Uh, which, um, you know, this this just seems like a very exciting event to be a part of. Yeah, and what's great about it, you mentioned X-Force. All these books have a lot to be excited about. Yeah, um, absolutely. X-Men book, to me, sounds a lot like, almost like Justice League Unlimited. It where does. it's Cyclops yeah. as the centerfold, yes. centerpiece of the book. But him being kind of the, 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 the super captain or the com captain commander, I think they, yeah, they mentioned captain in the book. Yeah, yeah. Him being able to basically choose any mutant to go on any mission that that makes them an X-Men. So yes. it's not gonna be just, oh, you're five or six people that you see on the cover. It's gonna be whoever he thinks is needed for that specific mission, mission which is great. I also was really excited about Excalibur. Yeah. Um, Excalibur, I think, definitely seems to be, I think it seems to kind of like reflect more of the positive outlook that the mutants have right now. And to have Rogue and uh, Betsy Braddock, who's not Captain Britain, right. and Gambit, all these characters who, you know, definitely seem to be enjoying the new life and then have Apocalypse on, yeah. on there. It's like oh, a yeah. unique twist. So it's like, will these characters, uh, you know, Jubilee's on that team well, I believe. Yeah. Like, will yep. these characters have an effect on Apocalypse that, you know, maybe loosens them up or warms them up a little bit? Or will him, he have more of like a, a kind of a darker edge to them? You know, it's going right. to be fascinating to see how they balance that. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun stuff coming through. A lot of really Shout fun stuff. Shout out to Teeny Howard, who's doing that. Movie. Shout out to Teeny Howard. She seems like a very deep fan yeah. of all the characters she's working with. Uh, she seems really excited to have this new expanded library of X Men that she can start working with now that they can no longer really die anyway. Yeah. So it, it seems like we're really going to get something special with this run. And the really exciting part of the panel really came at the end where you know, Benjamin Percy announces that he's going to be. Well, penning a Wolverine book, and this is you know no disrespect to X twenty three who's awesome, but this is Logan, James Howlett, yes. that Wolverine, and and his own solo book now finally back. That has yes. a lot of people are really excited. Wolverine fans are gonna really like it. Hearing Percy, uh, Percy talk about how personal Logan is to him, 
already got me saying I gotta buy the book. Yes, I'm extremely excited. Uh, Wolverine stories I've been told and told and told, and, and they're, I've never read a bad Wolverine story personally. But yeah. um, you know they've been told you know a lot. I feel like the new world that's been created, and with his role in X Force now, where he seems to be part of uh, like a CIA like for a mutants, C- which CIA is crazy. for mutants, which is how Percy described it. Yeah, um, Wolverine having that kind of role now, and then seeing whatever is going to come after what happens in that book. I think this could be something uh, that nobody will want to miss. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine, you know, doing his own stuff. It, it's always a fun ride. Percy being so passionate about it is going to make it yep. even a more fun ride. I think. Yep. There's a lot of good stuff coming with the X Men. Dawn of X starts just right at the end of, uh, at, of the Powers of Ten House of X uh, run. So we'll be following that. I know you guys will be following it. Make sure you check out all of our content here at New York Comic Con. Subscribe to our channel, New Generation Media, and leave a comment. Which X book are you most excited to, to read? So anyway, I'm EJ. This is Mari. Take it easy, guys.